Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you are an Unreal Engine user, wow, do I have some great news for you. And even if you're not an Unreal Engine user, to be honest, there's actually some really good news here as well. And in a nutshell, what just happened is Epic Games just bought Quixel. Um, now, they, they talked about it as Quixel is joining the Epic team, but no, no, this is a money move. Uh, and what basically happens with this is some really good results. Now, if you've never heard of Quixel, um, they're the makers of Mega Scans. Bridge and Mixer, uh, and they're a huge repository for textures, and they're probably the closest competitor out there to algorithmic substance, even though they take a much different approach. And now that they're part of the Epic Games family, there's some pretty cool news here. So let's just jump right into the, the news release. Now this is coming from the Epic Games website. Today we are thrilled to announce Quixel, the creator of the world's largest uh, photogrammetry asset library and bundled tool set, has joined the Epic Games family. It's founded in 20. 11, over 100 developers, they're out of Sweden, and they make Mega Scans, Brick, Bridge, and Mixer. I've actually done a video on Mixer, and I will actually, now that all of this stuff is together, I'm going to make it another video. I'm going to revisit them. I'm going to show what it's like from the perspective of an Unreal Engine developer, because that's going to make sense in just a second. Now, Quixel Mega Scans have been used to make a number of blockbuster games, including Metro Exodus, Destiny 2, Battlefield 5, and in animated entertainment, such as The Jungle Book, Black Panther, uh, Lion King, Pacific Rim Uprising. Um, and so on. Building photorealistic 3D content is an expensive endeavor in game development and film production by coming together with Quixel to make Mega Scans free for all Unreal Engine users. Uh, yeah, so if you're using it with Unreal Engine, it is now free for Mega Scans, which is pretty awesome. This level of artistry is now available to everyone from AAA studios to indies. So if you need textures for your game and you're using Unreal Engine, you have a huge number of them to choose from. Um, you say, our mission at Quixel has always been to make the world more accessible for everyone through ultra high resolution scanning as part of Epic Games. Uh, we are now able to accelerate this vision as we grow the Mega Scans library, speed up development of Bridge and Mixer, and improve integrations with all major 3D software and renderers. Um, but there's more than that, more than just giving it away for free. We'll get back to that in just a second. So as part of the Quixel Megascan library of more than 10,000 assets free for all use with Unreal Engine, 10 high resolution packs have been shared today for free on the Unreal Engine marketplace, as well as um, assets from the popular Iceland collection used in the Rebirth cinematic short. Additional asset packs will be made available for free on the marketplace at a future date. Um, Let's see if there's anything else of substance in here. Nope. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the Quixel blog. And here we are. This is them from their own perspective. I'm not going to read through most of it. It's kind of the same announcements. Uh, but there's a couple of things beyond uh, just being free for Unreal Engine users, which by itself is a huge announcement. But... Furthermore, with the generous backing of Epic, we're immediately slashing the prices of Mega Scans. So even if you're not using Unreal Engines, Mega Scans just got cheaper for you to use, giving everyone nearly twice as much content to download and removing the resolution cap for everyone, regardless of what engine, DCC, or renderer you love and rely on. We're also giving you a refund for the remaining duration of your subscription period to allow you to hop onto one of our new plans. If you have an active subscription, log in to find out how to obtain a refund. And it's not just there. On top of that, uh, that's not all. Epic is helping us uh, make the upcoming 2020 versions of Bridge and Mixer 100% free for everyone, no subscription required, and both fully featured. Now, I said, mentioned earlier, I, I have done a video on uh, Mixer, so if you want to check out what that's all about, I will toss the link down below. It's a way for taking source sprites and then or source textures and kind of deriving them, using them, layering them together, adding effects to them to create your own derived textures. Uh, we're releasing these new features uh, uh, within a few weeks uh, from now, and I'm thrilled to finally be able to share with you the upcoming updates. I will, of course, cover these when they come out. Uh, Bridge, tw Bridge 2020 brings you a massively improved browsing experience designed to save you as much time as humanly possible and to help inspire your creativity. Browsing has become much more um, visual, relevant, and fun. Uh, nearly 100 new collections have been added. The search bar is now much smarter and powerful filtering has been introduced. I implement an AI search feature that finds all the assets in any image uh, you feed it, essentially making it environment planning much easier, whether you have a real world reference or concept art. And then Mixer 2020 um, now introduces 3D painting. So yeah, they're becoming even closer to a substance painter in scope and functionality. Uh, real time 3D curvature, smart materials, and much more. Uh, introduces 3D blur grouping, map specific blending, advanced AO mixing, box projection, material ID masking, 3D position gradients, 3D normals to name a few. Um, in short, you can now design smart materials, 3D paint meshes, and create tileable surfaces all in one 
app. And again, that is going to be free for everybody thanks to this merger. This announcement is pretty, I'm not going to say epic. I'm not going to say epic. I'm not going to say epic. This merger is pretty epic, I got to say. To be honest, you just, first off, everybody using Unreal Engine now has 10,000 plus really exceedingly high quality AAA level uh, textures to work from. And then literally everybody out there has, um, you know, cheaper pricing and access to bridge and uh, mixer completely free. So this move is, it's just win, win, win for pretty much everybody that isn't unity. Uh, so here we can see the new plans. Um, they kind of used to be the personal only gave you like 1k, I think resolution. Um, now the, the licenses are, are quite a bit higher and quite a bit cheaper. So if you are interested in um, getting a hold of Megascan's assets, but you're not using Unreal Engine, you'll find that the new pricing is, uh, you know, the plans are much better. Um, as you can see here. So anyways, that is the thing. So the things that uh, are being talked about here, we'll do a quick rundown on them. The first one here is Megascans. This is a massive library of textures. You can find a huge number in there. Again, they've been used in uh, a number of different commercial products. And it's not just, you know, diffuse channels or um, albedo channels. This is also your, your normal maps, your bump maps, um, and everything else you need. It's a full PBR workflow. Uh, so you're not just downloading, you know, pictures here, you're downloading fully created and defined textures. So that's the Megascan library, 10,000 plus materials in it. And then we've got the bridge. This is for managing 3D and 2D assets um, and sending them to your various different tools that are out there. It's basically kind of like uh, a repository, I guess you could call it. Um, and you can you know, connect with any software, you can send your assets in between. And you can also bring your own things in. So this isn't just for mega scan textures, this is for your own works as well. Um, so it's kind of an intermediate database and interface over top of um, your texture assets. And then finally, we have uh, Mixer. Again, I did a video about Mixer, I will link it down below. And then when 2020 comes out, I will definitely be revis revisiting all of these things and showing you how to use it with your Unreal Engine login as well. Uh, but this is a tool, as I mentioned, for basically creating uh, textures out of other textures and um, maps and uh, algorithms and so on kind of so you can start with a base and then you can start mixing it up and then making uh, you know bump maps and from uh, grid textures you apply and you can add grime and dirt and grit and so on so it's a way of really kind of mixing so that's the name a bunch of textures together to create new work but there's a lot more to it than that there's also the algorithmic stuff and apparently in 2020 uh, there is a uh, uh, painting coming soon. So this is going to be quite literally the closest alternative out there to Substance Painter. And it's free now, uh, which again, is absolutely staggering. So um, yeah, some pretty impressive news all around. If you are an Unreal Engine developer, you've got to be on cloud nine. Um, there's just so much there. And it's, this isn't like your typical pack where you download you know 50 textures and you might see those textures in other environments this catalog is so huge that it doesn't look out of place if you use mixer in your game um it, it just is going to give a huge it's, it's actually going to just boost the fidelity of textures on so many titles out there uh, it, it's just a staggering move and i have to say it, more and more the way that things have worked with um unreal they put their money to good use. Their monthly giveaways have got to be tempting people to come over. But this one, you know, if you're on the fence between Unity and Unreal Engine, and these are two engines that are quite often at near feature parity, you know, there's edge case stuff. But for the most part, these are two engines that do very, very similar things. So when you're looking at, okay, which one should I choose? Well, one of the big things you've got to decide between is, you know, um, a percentage-based payment system or a flat rate per seat kind of payment system. And then you're kind of looking at what features come with things. And this is a huge feather in the cap for people like, okay, well, do I want to use uh, Unreal Engine and have access to a massive library of uh, AAA quality textures and materials? That's a pretty tempting advantage, I've got to say. So I'm curious to hear what you think of this on the whole. Um, does this tempt you more towards the Unreal Engine camp? Are you already an Unge Unreal Engine developer and are you just completely stoked for this move? Or even if you're not, once again, this is great news for everybody because um, the price for Megascans just got a whole lot cheaper. Everybody gets Mixer, everyone gets Bridge. Everyone wins today. 
All right, so that's it. Some excellent news, and I'm interested to hear what you think of it in the comments uh, down below. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.